It's hard to find a tool that's more versatile to have in your shop than a router. One of the things to consider adding to your router collection is what's called a trim router. What's cool about these is the ability to do so much work with a single hand on the machine. Very easy to control. We're going to have a look at some different operations that trim routers are capable of, including freehand routing. Starting with what trim routers really were all about from the get-go, and that was doing flush trim work. So, router's unplugged, so I can show you what we've got in here right now. We're going to start with a flush trim router bit. What that means is that we've got a ball bearing. The cutter is exactly the same diameter as the ball bearing. So the ball bearing can ride on one surface. The cutter will remove anything projecting past that surface. So in this case, I'm working on a tray that goes into this tool chest. And rather than try to cut the bottom to the exact size of the tray, I cut it oversized. In this step, I can flush trim it so that it's a perfect size of the tray. It's a lot easier than trying to cut it to the exact size. So let's go through that operation. Now, when you route, it's always the best idea, start on end grain. If we get a little chip here, that's okay, because we're going to clean it up when we do the long grain cut. Then we're going to do end grain, then long grain, going in a counterclockwise direction. And what's great about this is flush trim, so it leaves that surface perfectly flush with the tray, and cut quality is so good because we're running a router bit at a high RPM, good sharp router bit, it's going to leave behind a pretty much impeccable surface there. So that's one thing we can do with a trim router, easy handheld operation. Let me get a couple other things set up and show you some other things about this versatile machine. Let's do a little freehand sign making. This is pretty cool and something that really the trim routers lend themselves to. First thing I did is take out the flush trim bit and put in a V bit. Another thing I did is sat at my computer using a Word document, printed out something that I want to make a sign of, and then using some adhesive, glued that paper down to my target board. In this case, I'm working on cherry. Next step, freehand follow those letters. It's another spot where being able to hold that router with one hand really gives you the flexibility that you need in order to make these cuts. Here we go. Makes for a pretty cool gift, easy to execute, because basically if you can print it, you can carve it. I'm going to get the paper peeled off here, swap to another cutter, and we'll have another look at an operation that the trim routers are really good at. It's a simple thing, but boy does that Roman OG add a nice look to the edge. Really gives it a classic look. So a bunch of things about the trim router we talked about here. Versatile machine in general, routers are. Trim router like this offers you that ability to hand hold it with a single hand very easily. If you ever get into an application where you have to use a router vertically, and this isn't uncommon with 
flush trimming plastic laminate. Trim router is a great candidate for that kind of thing. Now, in the world of buying advice, something to look for in routers is the ability for the base of the router to accept standard template guide bushings or just guide bushings. The guide bushing is something else you can add to your router so that if you're not using a bearing on a bit, you can use the guide bushing to guide the router instead. It's real handy when that just drops in with any special adapters. There's some buying advice for you on trim routers and the versatility that they can add to your workshop.